stuff here in the city. We got the crew over yonder, and this is beautiful. This is so beautiful. Austin is a beautiful city. There's a guy with stripes. takes me back to the first venue in Texas I ever sold out, which is exciting. It's called Stubbs, and it's a venue and a barbecue spot. Yep. I remember parking my van right there. It's a very, very, very special place. It's awesome. All right, here we go. This is the table where the band resides every year. All we do is eat steak. Memories. Memories. This guy. <laughs> Here is main stage with our crew. One thing I actually remember more than anything, I know, I don't know why it's emotional for me. <laughs> but if you check out this, oh, they cleaned it. Someone actually said S M E G and someone added an A. And that was there for many years. Glad they cleaned it. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm kind of a boy. But uh, this is the coolest part, I think. This is what inspired me to actually go on like a trip in Colorado and try to get myself an Airstream. This thing right here. So I just checked out the Airstream where I had my great argument with a lady at one point in my life, maybe four years ago. This is what it's like to be lonely. It's written after that one. <laughs> Anyways, we're headed to the barbecue pit. I'm excited about this. This is so, you can just see the scent. That's unbelievable. And it smells, if you could be here, like a little slice of heaven mixed with like a dead pig who just wants to be eaten. It's wonderful. Cornelius, are you the guy who does all the meat? I'm uh, ma'am. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> yeah. So this machine holds 2,000 pounds of meat. Crazy. Crazy. So this is what keeps it hot. So that's our firebox right there. Slow smolder with post dough. It's green in the heart, so it burns nice and easy. Keeps a nice steady temperature. Provides that Texas flavor that you want in a brisket. Woo! That Texas flavor! There he is, Cornelius. Put the, uh, put the rib. How you doing, my man? Get some awesome. Woo! So a barbecue restaurant in Texas can't survive unless you have what you see right here. You got the beautiful smoke ring, you got a nice layer of fat, you got a perfect char on the outside of season and burn ends, and everything you want to see in a brisket you're looking at right here. Take a bite, man. All right, how do I just pull it off here? Just grab a piece and have that. Yeah, let's do it. All right, here we go. Got it. You got what I? I'm just gonna stay here. <laughs> so good. So what's the general consensus of the meat? <laughs> they're not even talking because they're just chewing away. <laughs> this is real? This is real. Wait, just tell them the end of what you just told me. Someone broke into my hotel room and overdosed on top of an umbrella that I couldn't even take with me. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to run out of the room. I had to run out of the room in the rain, half dressed, because that's San Francisco. I had to call the police. It was like really crazy. <laughs> it was really intense. So I've been listening. His name's Edmund. Edmund. Yeah. Of course it's Edmund. Yes. He's literally the modern day Don Draper. I am Don Draper. Donna Draper, depending on the length of my hair. <laughs> I'm literally in Mad Men, but like 2017. Anyway, this is fun. It's conversations with the modern day Don Draper. Howdy, people. We're here over in Austin, Texas at the South by Southwest Festival. Done with that. Ooh, scooter. All right. Getting it going. So introduce yourself to the camera. Hi, my name is Christina Cavazos. Yes, and you play? Um, I play the guitar. And I'm you like, write your own music? Yes, I do. And your favorite thing to do uh, in your free time is? I uh, write music, listen to music, and I like watching TV shows. So, a uh, quick question for you. How many shows have you been to? Um, probably more than 150 here Ooh. living here. It's amazing. So, can you play a song for us? Yeah. All right, play a verse chorus, please. All right. You're just like your father. You're sweet as the summer. So good. Ah, so good! Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, comment in the comments below you want to hear more. <laughs> If you want to hear more. Yeah. <laughs> there he is. He protects the life of all the civilians inside. Okay, okay, that was awesome. I would take that guy and put him in my band any single day of the week. 
It's unbelievable here in Austin. There's just music non-stop going, going, going. It's like everywhere you turn. In fact, this is crazy. There's music in a hat shop. We've got to check this out. Come on, let's go. That's so tight! That's so tight! Merle Haggard's guitar player. Is it really? I don't know. <laughs> well, now you need to tell us who it is. You I may, actually. You maybe want to go in there. No, now you really need to tell no, us. No, I don't actually don't know who that is. Oh, you're fine. Yeah, you're such a liar. You're, you're, you're just swim all of it. I need to say. I've never actually had anybody say, hey, sign I've my seen, cup. I've seen you on Facebook. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Signing her cup. Yes. There yes. it is. All right, thank you. Thank Aww. you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I didn't even look at the camera. Okay. Oh. <laughs> At the moment that I met you on Facebook, I saw your video, I looked at it, and I said, my God, is that Tyler War? And she said, yes, it was, sir. I turned to my daughter and I said, this is an influencer. One day you're going to meet him on the streets right here in Austin, Texas. And where did we end up? In front of the hat shop in Austin, Texas. And what did she say? She said, I've seen you on Facebook. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. If you watched to the very end of this video, type Xfinity in the comments below. See you guys. single word that she said but honestly i wasn't listening was she fighting with her mom or with her best friend i was too busy in my own head worrying